What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. This week's episode is going to be a bit... It's going to be a bit interesting because obviously we... Ha obviously obviously you you guys know recently we just got, got the ban list and the fort and YCS Pasadena is coming up really fast which I'm probably not going to be able to go. But that's okay. But that is quite okay. Excuse me. So, so for this week's episode, I'm going to be talking about the top five decks that we could potentially see at YCS Pasadena post October 2022 ban list. Now, <clears throat> now hopefully, ooh, excuse me. Now, hopefully, you guys are ready for this episode. If you guys are, and you guys want to see more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue, which gets posted every Friday, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. And follow me on all my social media. Links will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. With that being said, let's get straight into it. You guys know that the ban list consisted of Fairy Tail Snow getting banned, Ronin Totem getting banned, Chris Strong Haka Fibrax getting banned, Chaos Rule the Chaotic Magical Dragon getting banned, as well as Red Reboot getting banned. The cards that were taken off the list, you have Blackwing, you have Blackwing Steam the Cloak, Cyberjar, Mega Phantom Beast O Lion, Sub Substitute, and a, and a and of course um, Spellbook of Judgment and a Pointer of the Red Lotus. And the cards that got semi limited just remained the same from the last ban list that, that we had, which was Malicious at two, Tanky at two, and Pot of Desires at two as well. The cards that were taken off the list, we have. We have Dynamite Knight, the True Draco Fighter, Cyber Angel Benton, Shooting Riser Dragon, Fusion Destiny, Nadir Servant, Trickstar Life Sage, and Wall of Revealing Light. But the question is, with this ban list, what are the five decks that we could, we could potentially see in the format? In, in, in the format as we go into YCS Pasadena. Obviously, coming in and at, at, at number five, hands down, it has to be Sprites. Obviously, Sprites is still. It's still a brand a brand new deck to 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 the meta, but the thing is that with their with their rank two exceeds being literally the biggest monster that that's in that's in that's in the deck or I, or I guess the boss monster if you will. There's no doubt in, in my mind, sprites is going to be a huge huge um, competitive deck going into YCS pa Pasadena because of the fact that. Because of, of the fact that yes, 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 it is true that they did ban they did ban Ronin Tonin, but the thing is, is that even is that even with that, there's still Substitute, which could be another, which could be a potential, um, which could be a potential, you know, um, a potential potential uh, replacement, if you will, for the deck itself. Which honestly, it's not it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad because. Because Substitute basically just basically just tags out for 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 another frog, and you could just instantly go into you know into you know you know you know one of the Paleo monsters. You know, you, you can even also, also go into uh, Totally Awesome, which I believe I believe the deck I believe the deck runs what two or three if I'm if I'm if I'm right on that. So that's. That's one. Obviously, number two. Obviously, coming in and, and number four, Sword Soul. Sword Soul. There's not much else to say uh, to say about Sword Soul. In fact, I think the only. In fact, I think uh, Chaos Ruler. No, 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 no. Um, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to remember what deck was 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 running. I don't remember exactly, but um, but the but but the reason why Chaos Ruler got banned was because of the fact that. It was because of the fact that it's it's essentially it's essentially a much more remodified version of Pot of Duality, where you can just excavate the top five cards cards of your deck, add add a light or a dark monster to your hand, and send the rest to your graveyard, which is it's it's just insane. It's just insane. Light Swords actually were actually running this card because just because of that fact, being able to search out. Um, being able to, 
search out Raiden and then and then just send Wolf and um and Felice to your graveyard to just to just summon them back to to the field. That right there is yet yeah, is basically a rank four or a level eight synchro right off the bat. So sort but again but again going back with Sword Soul Sword Soul still one of the most insane cards in not cards insane decks in, in the format because of it because of the fact that you were able to because of because of the fact that she shall I believe is the uh, big ex, is the big synchro in the deck I'm gonna have to take a look really quickly deck editor go to black rose um, sword soul in fact I believe Uh, Grandmaster Shishao, yeah. So Grand, so so Grandmaster Shishao, I believe, is the one that does more for the deck. Uh, let's see here. If this card is sing if this card is single or something, you can add to your hand or banish a Sword Soul card from your deck. Quick, quick as a, okay, okay. So you can basically add. So okay, so it it so it basically act, basically acted as a as like a Rota Foolish Burial of sorts, but instead of sending it to your graveyard, you're banishing it, which is okay. Um, uh, quick effect: you can banish the Sword Soul or or a Worm Monster from your hand or grave, and target one other effect monster on the field that gets effects until the end of the turn. So it basically acted as a um, as as an imperm. So it basically acted acted as if you had a a fourth imperm which is actually really good the sword soul deck is just absolutely insane because not just because of the fact that not just because of, of the fact that you've got you've got you've got the synchros and then you just got, got got a bunch of other cards that actually worked with with the deck but also but also you also have the tenny the tennies as well you also have the tenny, uh, the 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 tenny spirits as well. You have cards like cards like Ashuna, Vishuda, Nahara, Mapora, Shatana, Adhara, and then of course too you got the Synchro, which is Draco Berserker of the Tenny, which is an insanely broken card. You have Tenny Spirit. You have Tenny Spirit Saha Sahasara, which I believe is the Token Summoner, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Token Summoner. Uh, you have you have Berserker of, of the Tenny, which I believe is basically the, which I believe is basically a baby version of Draco, which pretty, which pretty funny. You have Draco Masters of, of the Tenny, Shaman of the Tenny, Monk of the Tenny. Basically, you just got a bunch of, a bunch of Tenny Spirit, a, a bunch of Tenny monsters that actually work with, with the. With with the Sword Soul deck, because the Sword Soul are mostly um are, are are mostly worms, which is just insane. So that's and, and number four, number three, obviously obviously number three has to be um has to be um oh what's that one? I I can't I can't think of it. I'm like trying to think. Um. Um, one of the, um, oh my god, I can't, can't think of it, um, uh, Drytron, Drytron, Drytron is, yet yeah, is, is another deck that is gonna be, could be extremely broken in, in, in the, pa in the YCS Pasadena format, because of the fact that Cyber, Cyber Angel Benton is, now, is back, is back up at three, and also, and also the fact that Benton's effect is not a once per turn. So you can just use the, use the effect over and 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 over again, and you basically have yourself an infinite loop, just with just with that one card alone, which is just absolutely nuts. Dare I say more? I don't think so. I it just speaks speaks for for itself. But coming in at number two, hands down. Hands down has to be synchro. Ha has to be has to be synchrons because because when you think about Stardust Dragon, you think about Yusei Fudo. You think about the cards that he used in not 
you know, in not just in the anime, but in the manga as well. But people forget that we have gotten so much support for, for Star Wars Dragon over the years, including including a bunch of brand new Synchron monsters, and with the new, and with cards like, with cards like, you know, like Mega Phantom Beast O-Line back in, back in the format, it's a possibility that, that Synchrons could potentially be a massive threat. But it all depends on how the deck is built, if, if you will, so. <clears throat> so, but... But and and also too, shooting Riser Dragon is is all is also back up at three, so it could be it could be a potential replacement. It could be a potential ro replacement for um for for Crystalron Halka Vibrax, especially if you ran one, especially if you ran one 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 Halka Vibrax, then you could definitely then at, as a replacement you could run a second a, a second shooting Riser, which. Honestly, it's not, it's 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 not too bad, right? You know, it can easily it can easily help you make um make uh make uh cos uh cosmic blazar dragon shooting quasar dragon shooting star dragon. Um, it can even also help you, funny enough, help you make um help you make uh what was it uh, shooting um shooting majestic star dragon? I I, I think it was. I think I think you need to have um. Have uh, Will's Converging Dragon as well, which it's not bad, not bad. But the number one, probably pro probably the most obvious because it's not on the ban list, Mystic Mind. Not much. There's not much else to 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 say about it. There's really not. I just don't know what to. Uh, I just don't know what to tell you guys. I think Mystic Mind is going to be the deck to. Is, is pro it's probably going to be the deck to beat. In, in in this format because I feel like I feel like with this upcoming with this upcoming event I feel like there's gonna be that one person who's gonna make make a, a mystic a mystic mind deck so broken so powerful that Konami will have no choice but to host to host and will have no choice but to host an emergency ban list and will want to um will want to actually ban missing mind or e or perhaps even also to um the cards that that can facilitate can that can facilitate missing my cards like cards like terraforming cards like cards like metaverse cards like planet pathfinder which any of any any one of those three or even all three getting banned and i have no doubt in my mind that that missing mine Will would become a non-factor. Even also, uh, uh, demise, demise in the land. If if I remember, if I remember right, that's another card that it, that can also help facilitate missing mind. Which that's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts, guys. But I know this was a relatively short short video. But I want, just wanted to give you guys give you guys my my top five decks that <clears throat> we could pot potentially see at at YCS Pasadena. So I do. So, um, so, but that brings me to, to the question of, of the day. What deck do you guys think is going to overcome the YCS Pasadena event? Let me know down in the comments below, and that will do it for this week's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! Biggest Issue, which get posted every Friday, Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And as always, make sure you guys follow me on all my social media. Links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.